there if you want to check out this broadcast and those from the years past. We've got busy nights ahead here at the uh, Lexington Ice Center next weekend. Akron comes to town. <laughs> never oh, ending, gosh. never ending events here at the Ice Center. I believe it. Busy year, actually, on the home slate for the Wildcats. I believe over 20 home games this season. So, if you haven't, if you don't get a chance often to come out and check out the Wildcats, you're going to have plenty of opportunities this season. A lot of home games for Kentucky. The Hinkley's just lost sound. Oh no! Somebody, somebody, kicked the plug out. <laughs> well, everything here is so <laughs> old. And Coach Jim Hinkley's got a, I think he's going to converse with uh, Rob Doherty and uh, ask him, you know, Coach, what did you do to my uh, sound? Weep the Bobcats. And face off one by the Bobcats here going deep to start. Right out front, a couple quick shots, the third one. Cats need to clear here. Glass will uh, wrap it around. And McLaughlin trying to move it up, does so out of the zone. Ohio will have to reset. Now dump back in and offside your call as one Ohio. And we'll see if Kentucky can move down and get some shots early on Alex Guest as they have in the first two periods themselves. Cats trying to move it along here, having some issues. Now turn back over. Kentucky will finally clear that. We'll be caught up here. Trying to clear the zone as Ohio does so. Kentucky now trying to clear their own zone. Having some issues. Right up front fires a shot and Tenfeld will say, no, sir, it's mine. 19-10 remaining in the first third period of play. And dropping back. Fell. Gets to take the draw for Kentucky. Ohio getting two quick shots on goal to begin the period. Cats able to clear, not able to gain possession here. Have some issues. Roach is going to cross it back over now. Back to him. Getz trying to, he was trying to gain possession there, having issues in doing so. Green can't hold on to it though. Move back into the Ohio zone. Now played off the boards. Green will chop it into the net and we'll have a face off. Ways to go here. Two goal differential. Kentucky still needs to apply the offensive pressure. Cats, on Ohio. Cats trying to move it up here, having issues in doing so. Shot and now go up and over the back of uh, Tenfeld. Now wrapped around again. Tigret trying to move it out, not able to. Finally cleared out of the zone. But moving in, shot saved there. Graham tried to make something happen. Get First a shot, shot on goal of the period here for Kentucky. Up in the Ohio zone. Now play back around. Here's Whitman. He breaks his stick. He's going to have to dash over to the bench and get a new one. Actually, he'll just take a seat. Get some fresh legs out. Jake Boss takes his place on the ice. Now right back around. Cats having problems moving the puck here in the third. Looking for the pass up. Top of the zone, Cats moving in here. Trying to cut, oh! Salomone, uh, Salomone had the right idea. He wanted to go high, but he went too high. And he got the, uh, he got uh, Guess out of position in, in doing so. Just got that blade a little too parallel to the ice and got a little too deep under the puck and flipped it up and out of play. But you're right, had the right idea. It would have been an incredible goal had he been able to put it in, but just got too much loft under it. Face off one here. Now trying to move the puck along is, oh, what a check there. Cats finally able to move it out of the zone. Stretching in, trying to fire a shot. Was boss that bounces off the pads of Roach. Trying to move in, goes up and over. And on the shot was Darrow with 17.09 remaining. Oh. 
Yeah, it's, it's almost like both teams trying to feel each other out here, here to begin this third period of play. Almost a reversal from what we usually see. Usually by the third period, the teams are scrappy. We saw that in the first period tonight. Give both teams credit. They have settled down as far as the post whistle activities go. Yeah, that first period was a mess when it came to that. Deflection on the puck here. Cats finally able to clear. We're going to have a chase for the puck. They wave it off. And off. The official felt that Bobcat player could, could get back to it before it reached the line. Now we'll wave around, and that one plays off the knee of the uh, official. Now crossover. Cats going to try to set it up here. Crossed up again. Cats. Good clear to get into the zone. Fresh legs coming out for Ohio. Nice job here by the Bobcats to keep that puck in and around Tenfell while they make changes. Couple shots and now we got some extracurriculars going on. Yeah. Penalties coming. That'll be Jeremy Schmidt going to the box for that hit after the whistle. 16-01 remaining here. The Third period of action. The intent is good there by Schmidt. You want to clear of this and put one with a lot of time left. Two gold lead, a very, very dangerous lead because there's no real comfort zone because one goal, you're back in it, but here comes Kentucky. Looking across it over, shoots and it sails wide. Whitman not able to get it on net. Gets with the right idea though. Gets put it right on the tape of Whitman. Whitman perhaps waited just a second too long. Perhaps should have taken that pass. Taking that shot actually is a one-timer, but decided to corral it. Green coming in, he shoots, and it comes off the stick of Tenfeld, and we'll have a face-off. Nice job by Homer there to take. Cats trying to clear the zone right off the face-off. That was Getz trying to push it along. He's trying to make that make that his thing th this year, just wanting to get ahead and catch everybody off guard. It worked once. Here comes Getz again, turning on the Jets, top of the zone. Gets around one defender. Looking to, center, looking to center it there. Well, it gets is just dangling oh. in the corner. Now it gets buried underneath. Puck goes out of play and we'll have a face off. Boy, he was just juking and jiving in that corner and finally got dumped after the play was over. Now some bumping after the whistle as well. But thankfully, cooler heads prevail and both players will skate to their respective benches. It will take the face. It almost, it almost looks like sometimes when Getz gets in a situation like that, he's just looking to toy with the defenders. That's what he did there. Wasn't able to do anything with it as far as moving the puck towards the net. But, but he did an excellent on. job in killing time off the penalty. And that's what you want to do on a situation like that. Take the puck into the corner, move it around a bit, and kill some time off, and he did that. Now puck being moved along here. Here's Hubbard. Hubbard looks to wrap around. Does so. It's still in the Kentucky zone, though. Ohio able to keep it in. Still moving along. Ohio just moving moving the puck pretty well here. Fires one on. Kentucky able to clear. That was Hales. Salomon putting some pressure on. Gets it between the legs. Ohio puts it into the Kentucky zone. Still kept in. And finally popped out. Here come the Cats. Top of the zone. Hales gets taken off the puck. He was met with a nice hip check right at the blue line. And penalty is over. Still not able to get anything going was Ohio. Looking for the pass up there. It was Oberlin. Now here come the Cats once again trying to move it in. Glass trying to center it. Nobody home. Three on two going the other way for the Bobcats. Bobcats moving in, looking for a shot. No, Kentucky able to clear. That was Ulrich trying to move in for the shot. It looked like Ohio as they were bringing it down with the three on two advantage. Their players got bunched up together instead of spacing it out and creating more open passing lanes. You can't pin up your own passing lanes. That's big no-no in that, hockey. That's exactly what the Bobcats did that time on the odd man rush. We got a battle for the puck down in the corner. Glass in along with Barnes. 
Oh, that one just trickles right through the crease. McLaughlin with a lot of pressure here. Kentucky having some problems clearing the zone. 12.53 remaining now. Ohio still keeping it in. And this is not a power play. They're doing a fine job of keeping that puck in the Kentucky zone, still within. Now, chance down deep. Shot saved. And a penalty. penalty. And it's going to be on Kentucky, I believe. And I think it might be Cohen that's going in. Well, like Tenfeld with a nice job there, snatching the puck out of midair. Or perhaps it's McLaughlin going in. I thought the official first pointed at Cohen. At a defenseless player after the whistle. We saw Jeremy Schmidt go into the box earlier in this period for the exact same thing. Just cannot have those mistakes in the third period when you're trying to hang on to a lead. And that's what Kentucky looks like they're doing. They're not attacking uh, too much here in this third period. And now with Ohio, Ohio setting up another power play. Fires a shot and they score. There, there. Tenfeld is trying to argue that was hit with a high that, stick. That was a high stick. That had to be a high stick. But Tenfeld is irate and he has a legitimate case. Coach Docker, he's going to calmly walk over and get an explanation. That was nowhere near a legal deflection. Yeah, not at all. Well, yeah, I wonder if you're the officials. If you, you have to get together and discuss the, they this. They are talking about it. And see, perhaps the linesman got a better look at it. If it's a questionable call, they'll go with what the official made. But that was clearly a high stick. Yeah, definitely. It's... That's one of those things you want to over you want to look here. And we don't ever see Aaron Tenfeld get that animated, but that certainly was. And the Cats are trying to say no way, but the official is looks like he's going to award the goal to Ohio. Wow. An absolute high stick there. The goal It looks like the goal is going to stand. That's, that wow. looked to me, that stick was almost near the the level of Aaron Tenfeld's head, standing yeah, and, up. And the high stick is, is it's crossbar. Right, and Tenfeld is well over a foot, to, a foot up, but nonetheless, it goes on the board, and we have a one-goal game. You have to put it behind you now if you're Kentucky and go back to your basic game. And cleared out of the zone. Play back in. Kentucky needs to set it up now. Trying to play it off the boards, Wait. but took a nice high center bounce. Here, Kentucky, where is the aggression going in Kentucky's offensive game? Well, here comes Kentucky looking for a break here. Gets around one, fires a shot, saved. Puck's still alive, and we'll have a faceoff. This is where you look to guys like Glass and Getz. Getz together once again. We saw them for a good portion of last season up front. I wouldn't be surprised if Glass, McLaughlin, and Getz are on the forward line again before this game is over. They have to find some offensive momentum to try and push this lead back out. Because right now, Kentucky is being outworked by the Bobcats, and right now it's not even close. Cats trying to move something here. Crossover, fires a shot, saved by Tenfeld, and we'll have a faceoff. Well, Ohio just getting all kinds of chances in the Kentucky zone. It, it looks to me that two, the Kentucky has fallen into that two-goal trap, and really this third period, they've been playing more of a let's play this third period as if we're trying not to lose instead of going out there and trying to win. And when you have that mentality and you take that play onto the ice or onto the field, what have you, it's a dangerous area out there for you, and it can sometimes cost you. Tenfeld got taken down. There's going to be a penalty on Ohio. 